guys, it's me, Miss Natural Life. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of True Talk Tuesday. I want to thank you guys so much for the lovely response that I received on the last True Talk Tuesday. And just say I'm really proud of myself for getting in front of the camera and talking and sharing myself because it's a little bit scary. I mean, let's be real, it's a little bit scary, you know, to just be putting yourself out there and stuff, you know. But, um,. I'm so glad, you know, to be doing this segment on my channel, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy it. Don't forget to leave comments in the comment section about different things you would like for me to talk about, um, discussions you would like to have, and everything, and I will be sure to respond. So today's True Talk Tuesday is going to be about change. Yep, I said it, just like Whitley, I can change, you can change change can change right y'all remember that different world episode right come on now don't leave me hanging don't leave me hanging um change the big word c-h-a-n-g-e six letters but it's like so much punch packed into the six letters of the word change and my dad <laughs> used to say this all the time when i was a kid um and I'm not sure who the famous quote is by. And if, if I figure it out, I'll try to annotate it somewhere. Up in here, up in here. My daddy used to say, change is inevitable, but misery is optional. And I used to be like, really? First of all, why you gotta be using all the big words? Second of all, really, really. But there's so much truth in that statement that is not even funny. Um, change is inevitable, meaning that things are going to change. You're going to change, your friend's going to change, your husband's going to change, your kid's going to change, your circumstances going to change. Everything's going to change. But misery is optional, meaning I don't have to be miserable about it. I could just go through the change. And some of it may be miserable, some of it may be unbearing, but some of it is really not that serious. Like, why are we making such a big deal about it? And so, I've decided to be even more open-minded about change you know when things happen and and things change all of a sudden I've really just decided to step back and breathe like in out in out <laughs> and then take it on find out what the changes are or what the issue is or the you know what the repair is going to be or not the repair or whatever and just go with the flow in terms of you know, not making myself miserable to go through that change. Um, and I'm not speaking in terms of change that doesn't need to happen because we all know there's social change and, you know, church change and all the type of changes that you, you need to be like, wait, 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 hold on, hold hold your horses, pump your brakes. Okay, I know about that kind of change and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about everyday change, things that happen in your life um, that you just have to deal with. I mean, okay, right now, today, I'm dealing with YouTube, okay, Google Plus bane of my existence today okay however instead of letting myself get mad and angry and upset and about to cuss and stuff I was just like okay I understand I hear both sides of the coin I hear that people say it's good and people say it's bad and let me make my own decision and let me not get all flustered and flusterated and stuff let me just you know go and, and see and, and do and click and click and click and try to work it out and thankfully I have relieve myself of some stress I'm not saying that it's, it's not a stressful situation because it is because our viewers are our family so to speak um, I just didn't let myself like go head over heels crazy about the change and so when change comes at work when change comes at home I just try to like embrace it for the moment and and not get upset about it <laughs> and I know that sounds cookie cutter and weird but it's been working for me. So I don't know if it works for y'all. I'm just telling you, I thought I would just share in case it can work for y'all because it's been working for me to just not get all bent out of shape. You know, the world is gonna still turn. You know, <laughs> my dad used to say, there's always gonna be poor, rich and poor. And you know, even the Bible says to everything there is a season, meaning that things are gonna change, not gonna stay the same. And the most important thing is to enjoy the moments as they're happening to enjoy where we are and when the change comes because we've enjoyed the journey because we've enjoyed every step 
it's not so bad. Or even if it is bad, we can remember all the good <laughs> that it was, you know. Uh, what did Willie used to say? Uh, you got to relax, relate, and release into reality. Come on, honey, relax, relate. Relax, relate, release. Pump your brakes, calm down. Take it step by step. And you'll get to the finish line. I'm just saying. So I just figured that I would come on here and and just tell y'all that it's been it's been good. It's been good. It's been real. You know, and just see what you think. And you know, what has been going on with you? You know, there have been changes in your life. How have you been handling them? What are your tips for working it out? Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for talking with me, guys, for True Talk Tuesday. And I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to leave comments.